Good morning. I don't know if you can read the time on there, but it's stupid o'clock on a Saturday. Uh, I've just had some breakfast. I'm waiting for a taxi. I'm on my way to the wrong side of the Pennines again to go and meet up with Jamie to go to an EV meetup. Uh, we're going to have a ride in Jamie's bug plug, maybe try out some Chidemo, Chidemo charging. Uh, Danny, who was on my DIY EV chat, is going to be there with his electric chimney. Uh, maybe some other cool EV stuff as well. But unfortunately, it requires a very early start. I'm on the train today. It's a little bit further than the range of my car to get over to Conisborough, which is the nearest station to, well, a sensible station for me to get to near Maltby, which is where this meetup is. Until I get the second pack in the car, range is about 20 miles, and I think that's probably about 35. I'll look it up, I've not looked it up. I'll stick a map on the uh, on the screen for those who aren't familiar with the, with the geography of northern-ish England. So yeah, train journey over there and then fingers crossed Jamie will pick me up in the bug plug. We'll get some breakfast while he charges up a bit. Maybe Jadimo, we shall see. It wasn't working yesterday. And uh, and then yeah, then we'll head over to this meetup. Don't know what's going to be there. Might be three cars, might be 30. Um, but it looks like a fun little venue, little cafe called Revs and Relics um, where there might be some interesting machinery and projects going on. So yeah, should be fun. Nice morning, there goes the train. And there is a man in an electric beetle. <laughs> Good morning. So look at this, Jamie's got his heater controls in a little 3D printed box. It's not warm yet. And his dash. <laughs> but we are going to get some heat. Ah, so you no comm is no, no communication. Yeah, that's when the uh, time's out. So here's the trick. The DL is cold. I'm going to put an extra layer on. It's a piece of box section. <laughs> Do you want me to... Uh... Thank you. <laughs> I'm keep... Yeah. <laughs> That way, nobody can nick your cable. At least not without a screwdriver. So, 
type one into the car. Type two into the charge point. Going out to confirm. We get 15 minutes before you get it turns off if you don't go in the app. Ah. And one DIY EV is charging while we go and recharge with some breakfast. Oh, he's got a 10 meter lead, he says. Got, got, got the blue commando on here, so. So this is, this is DIY EV plus commercial EV. This very nice, uh, it's EV6, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, it's EV6. EV6 gonna charge Jamie's bug plug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right, you know, let's just see what this video. That's this one, you just put it in there, then you push that. And then on the dashboard, it'll tell you how much power it's uh, taken across. So, charging 2.2 kilowatts from here to Jamie's car. Awesome. <laughs> What's your top speed then? Are you getting in, Jamie? I don't know. I've done 70. You've done 70? I've done 70. <laughs> For about five minutes. I don't. Is it charging then? Yeah, yeah uh, we're doing... That is incredible, that. <laughs> Is it running? Yeah, we're doing four amps. I can get more if you want. You get, take a bit more, yeah, it'll, it'll take 16 amps. Are you trust me, that? His charger won't take 16 amps. Yeah, that's, 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 this is what you should have done. <laughs> With power steering. Yeah. <laughs> How has he not got power steering? So this is inside the Danny's Jimny. A Danny who was on DIY EV chat recently. Recognised some familiar components. Uh, the classic Hella UP, well actually there's UP32, the Hella pump. Relays down there, he's using some, what look like some funky little Chinese DC to DCs. Charger down here, I think. Somewhere I believe there's a, I think it's a Sevcon inverter. That could be this beast here. The size of the chunky cables coming out. He's gone. Very big beast. Tesla battery packs. Yeah. He's just said it's coming up. So, what's this stuck out the bottom here? Batteries. Battery, yeah. Twenty-two to twenty-five-ish, not massive. Is this the only electric vehicle? Can't say ever. Well, I don't know. I've seen some people have done the older ones. Right. Yeah, there's definitely some classic vehicles. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not sure if anybody's been silly enough to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay 300 quid for that car. 
Yeah, and then sold the engine, sold the car, sold the fuel pump and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so it cost two grand all in. Local runs it cost next to no to run. Other than the adaptive way to bolt the motor to the gearbox. For any of my friends who know. You tried and it tried stuff, but I went I couldn't be accurate enough. You have to get them lined up. It is hard. Yeah. As I found with my squeaky coupler. That's for the rapid charging. <laughs> it doesn't work yet. I was going to say. I was trying to get that working yesterday, but where's your, where's your, your normal charge? Down here, this. This is under the bonnet of the EQC. Look at the size of that drive unit. Inverter sort of semi-integrated on the top. Look at the mounting. Size of that mounting piece. But you just got your drive shaft coming out down there. I don't know if you can see those. That would be a hell of a swap into something front wheel drive or rear wheel drive actually as a sort of mid-engine option so yeah if anybody knows of one of those going wrecked that'd be tempting got your oil cooler up here not entirely sure what that is looks like some sort of high voltage distribution Pair of PTC heaters there and there, they'd be useful components as well. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that that would be a good Tesla drive unit alternative if someone knows how to control that inverter. Very neat. Alright, a little look under the bonnet of the Zoe. So your 12 volt battery here. See your drive unit down there, just about tucked away. ABS pump. I literally just belted it down as soon as I finished washing it. Air cooling unit. Neat and tidy. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. So still charging off the EV6. At what, 94% now? Well, from 80 to 94, I've been here, so... Brilliant. As Jamie says, we can have some heating on the way back to the train station. Nice beefy uh, leaf here. What's your, what's your percentage dropping while I'm charging? I've gone down 6%. Oh, <laughs> I've gone up 16. <laughs> You've got the heater on in there. Oh, right. so. That's mad, isn't it? You've yeah. gone down with, with the heating on and charging Jamie's car, you've gone down 2%. Yeah. <laughs> Quite the turnout today. It's, it's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Some you've seen already. But we've added a. Uh, Ooh, a little VW there. An ID3, I think. Another Zoe. Next to Danny's Jimny. Another Kia. An older Leaf. Another Leaf. Another Peugeot. The Lexus. I do like this 208. Very nice styling. Only one Tesla. Shows how much the market's changed. Tesla doing its party piece. And the screen was just going, all over the place, it's going. It's clearly a bug in the software. It's like to with the inverter because you switched the inverter off. Yeah. It stops it. Yeah, so there's some interference on the screen. 
Tell me in the comments if my Z300S ought to do this. <laughs> Very small, you wouldn't get much in it. If you get a more like sort of round one, oh, it changes. A bit different from my legs, it's iron. <laughs> Just oh, nerding yeah. out on this yeah. three, three miles dash. per kilowatt. The difference is that he's doing about 85 miles an hour <laughs> on that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That is and, very and cool. And eco driving. Come on, little Big car. screen. Can do it and still nice switches. <laughs> very comfy seats. It says it's miles. I think the drive unit from the EQC is my takeaway from today. Uh, and the interior of the Peugeot. I like this a lot. <laughs> yeah, revving an EV with a mechanical throttle pump. <laughs> Lexus. This is more my sort of territory. It's a little bit more modern than the bits I'm using. So that's your inverter there. Which I guess is similar ish to the one I'll be using on the EVGT. Well, actually not really, layout's different. Nice that cooling goes in and out on the same side. And the control wires go in the top. And you can see just about down there, your three phases coming out for your motor out the bottom. And then this will be your DC to DC converter connections on the end there. This will be your charger and heater, I guess, charger below and heater on top. Enough car shows where everyone opens the bonnets, I thought I would, I would get those. <laughs> <laughs> the Tesla battery pack. This is the new 4650 cells, yeah? The amount of people who think those are the batteries is insane. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did an EV uh, one Awareness to get race courses, like race bottles and stuff. And a couple of them thought they were the batteries. Wow. I'm like, oh, I wish. <laughs> Hell of a turnout. Loads of cars, loads of different brands, lots of good conversation, lots of interest in the conversions. Everyone curious about range, cost, um, huge variety between Jamie's and the uh, and uh, Danny's uh, Jimny. I'd love to come over here with the Z300S, particularly once the new body's on. I think that would get a bit of attention. I um, just need to get that second battery pack in and the bigger motor in uh, to get me over the Pennines. Uh, but great fun event. Um, big thanks to Yorkshire EV for organising. Um, and a great cafe as well. The, uh, the Rex and Relics guys have been brilliant. Um, good tea and coffee, good bacon signs on the go. Very friendly, even though it's a biker place. Actually, quite a lot of interest from the bikers and the EVs, which is interesting. And I confess, although bikes scare the life out of me, there's some very pretty machines there. So, about to start raining, or even has started raining just a little bit. I think we're going to freeze to death if we don't make a move soon. So, time to jump back in the bug plug uh, and head home in a minute. Oh, there we go, heater on. Nine cheeks. Yeah. Fully charged, almost fully charged from the uh, EV6. Which is long gone now. Yeah. Right, bye bye Maltby. Bye bye Yorkshire EV. Back on the train. Let's start editing this video together. 
we've just stopped for a little bit of emergency surgery. What is this you're fixing, Jamie? Oh, it's just a fuel gauge. <laughs> there we go. Power came out of the fuel gauge. Very neat, you've got that little uh, thing that you can tuck things away in. It's not on properly. There we go, all sorted, off we go again. Quick breakdown of the day. Um, Jamie, high points? Um, heating. <laughs> yeah. Getting a charge from the EV6. That, that was, was very cool. That was cool. Um, I like that a lot. Free charging at Tesco. Yeah, very good. Breakfast. What about the uh, the off the shelf EVs? The uh, what was your favourite one of those? Uh, the Peugeot. Yeah, same. Do you know what? I, I really like the Peugeot. That, that uh, 208. Yeah. Um, interior, fantastic. Um, yeah, it seems like pretty good value. Like 200 mile range, was yeah, it? Yeah, I don't know the price of it. No, I but I mean, yeah, imagine it's. I think Peugeot's going kind of premium brand now, isn't it? I have no idea, I've not. Um, I like the 3D printed batteries in the front of the Tesla. <laughs> that one, that yeah. was kind of nice. I <laughs> didn't like the Tesla. Though, was... Oh, no, I wasn't that fond of the Tesla. But the, um, apparently he gets people actually ask him if those are the batteries. Um, <laughs> um, and, and, and not just, you know, average punters, but engineers have asked him whether those are the actual batteries or that. Good, good bit of comedy there. Um, the drive unit in the EQC, I just really want to play with one of those. That thing was an absolute monster. Um, you know, dropping that into you know something mid-engines, like you're dropping that into an MR2 or something would be <laughs> very, very cool. Um, or an Audi R8 or something like that with a with an electric drivetrain would be super cool. Um, and what was the other thing? Yeah, I, I'd say really like the I really like the look of the uh, the EV6 as well. That's a big car. Big, actually. massive thing, but good looking. Um, so yeah, all in all, cracking event. <laughs> oh, and Jamie leaves me for another wet day in the north. <laughs>